Most cookies. All right, enough of using my own encryption. Flash session cookies should be plenty secure. And we have server.py website. So here's the website. Welcome to my cookie search page. Now with the best security. All right, well, blah, 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 blah. That doesn't appear to be a valid cookie. Let's try reset. Doesn't appear to be a valid cookie. Okay. So here is the Python file. So they've loaded the flag. That's nice. Cookie names, they have a bunch of them. And then the secret key is a random choice in this list. So we should be able to brute force the secret key on this list. It looks like they want a cookie that has very auth. And blah, 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 blah. If we're in display and we have very auth with the value of admin, they're going to respond with the flag. So if I go to display, all right, so that's a cookie not very special, but if I have one that says very auth is admin, then it should be good to go. So it turns out that it's very straightforward to encode and decode these things. Here's a nice GitHub repo that has code for encoding and decoding Flask cookies. So what I've done is I've taken from that code, we have now the cookies list, which came from server.py. This is the code I got from Git. I'm going to loop through all the possible cookies, creating a dictionary with the very often and admin. I encode the Flask cookie. I do a get to the display method with that as my session cookie, and I see if I get picoctf because that's what's in the flags. I'm going to say python3 most sol.py. It loops through a few of these, then it finds the flag, picoctf pwn all the cookies. So again, the, the key thing here was that the session cookie, the um, key space was pretty small, right? And so I was able to brute force over the key space pass the correct cookie to the display method until I got one that gave me back my flag. And so we can throw that in here, and away we go.